Hi again, Adam Zeiss here for Crackberry.com. We're going to continue our ultimate Twitter client roundup today with a look at Tweet Genius, which was the first premium Twitter client for BlackBerry. Um, and all the other clients were free. This is when there were only about three or four. Uh, Tweet Genius came out and it totally reshaped the game. It had a great UI, um, lots of cool animations, all the full features are there, and it pretty much just works. So here we have our main screen. We can see we have uh, friends, mentions, and direct messages. So we click on friends. We can see our timeline here. And it's all laid out nice. We can see the tweets that were sent are in blue there. And if we scroll through, then you can pretty much click into a tweet. We can see all the info, um, person's name, Twitter name, the entire tweet here. And we have buttons on the bottom, favorite retweet. Um, then we see the service, date and time that it was sent. If we clear through that, you can see there's actually a cool little pop-up animation when we go from uh, each menu. Uh, the mentions looks just the same laid out. This is the default format, which is like a bubbles format. Um, and it's cool too, you can see the little preview of the latest tweet down the bottom here when we scroll over. So whichever is in the top of your timeline there um, will actually show up along the bottom, which is very cool. And also when you're in here, you still have a little battery and signal meter the time and it tells you where you're at. Um, so we'll take a look at the menu here. We have fetch new tweets. So if you have this set to um, just manual, if you click that, it'll refresh your timeline. Then we have the send tweet here. You can enter your tweet and then we have um, options for images or the shorten the URL. It shows you how many characters are left and then we have the send button there. Um, then we have friends timeline mentions and direct messages which will take you to all the same spots that are in here. Um, we have our public timeline. So that'll load up the uh, public Twitter timeline. And we have favorites. We have trends as well, which shows the trending topics on Twitter, which is very cool if you keep up with that. Um, and then we have go to user, we have search, and then we have our options here. You can see in the options, um, it has me logged in. We have a log out button there. Tweet list style, we can change. Um, the default, which is the bubbles format like we had there, we can change that to bars, um, which just has a little bit of a different layout. Um, so some people like it like that, it's just kind of a little cleaner, um, throws everything together a bit more. And we'll jump back in there. Um, we have the option to change the font size for the tweets, small, medium, large. Um, auto fetch, you can set it to never, you'll have to manually refresh, um, or you can have it to 3, 5, 10, um, and it intervals up to 4 hours, which is cool. So I like it have the 3 minutes, um, it doesn't seem to drain the battery all that much, and it keeps the timeline flowing in. Uh, tweets per fetch, this just sets how many to fetch every time you refresh. Um, max tweets per list, this is how many we'll keep in, uh, in each spot in the app. Um, we can choose to have it refresh when we start, or view a list, or both, or just manually. So you can pretty much tweak it to your liking of how you want it to refresh, which is cool. And then we have our upload services. You can choose from TwitPick or YFrog. Um, we can choose to um, have the enter key send tweets. If we have this set to yes, then when you type a tweet and hit enter, it'll send. Or if not, you'll have to push the trackball and hit send. Um, we can show people's username or their display name, so that's their Twitter username or their um, display name that they have entered on Twitter. Um, mark tweets red. This will have everything get marked as red when you view a list or if you have it set to no then you'll scroll through one by one and as you highlight them they'll get marked as red. Um, keep tweets on shutdown. We have the option for Wi-Fi and then the connection options here. Um, then we have a save button down the bottom. So that's really all there is to it. Um, Tweet Genius, it is $7.99. You can get it at tg1.beehive.com. Um, it's a great app, still getting updates. Uh, the UI is fantastic, it's fast, it's got smooth animations. Um, so it's very cool. If you use Twitter a lot, it's definitely worth the eight bucks. So I would totally recommend checking it out. Again, it is $7.99, available at tg1.beehive.com, and that is Tweet Genius for BlackBerry.